Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your December 1st to 15th general love reading for 2018. Please keep in mind it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising signs as maybe that's where your messages are. And that's not a bad idea anyway because it gives you a much bigger, broader, more well-rounded view of the time period. I want to thank you so much for liking, viewing, sharing, and subscribing and supporting me also in the extendeds. I really appreciate that. And by the way, those are still $2.22 till the end of December. Now, getting to your reading, I've laid the cards out the way I always do. Three across, three down. The center card combined with the bottom of the deck card are your overall energy. This is where we're starting out. This is your possible outcome. By the way, I want to thank you for all your comments, too, and all your very, very kind words. I really appreciate it. I do read them all. I don't get time to maybe respond to all of them, but I do read them all. Okay, so getting to your reading for your overall energy for this time period. You have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles can represent... Um, commitment because if you notice not in this deck but in other decks it's represented in a church so it can represent commitments in relationships it can represent um, the two of you working toward the same goal and the ace of cups of course is a brand new beginning now that can be a new relationship it can be you taking your current relationship to the next step meaning overall energy could be taking your your existing relationship to a committed state a more committed state for some of you okay you then have the six of swords two of swords ten of swords ten of wands Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Just give me a second. Okay, the message that I'm getting here is you really want to move forward with this, with this, um, the commitment, the um, taking it to the next level or coming together in a new relationship with somebody. You do want to move forward in that direction, but there's something, you're, you're having trouble making that decision to do so or... Um, there's something around that moving forward that that is causing indecision and for some of you it's that you've had a lot of hurt in the past in committed relationships and maybe they just never seem to last you commit and you move forward with it and then you're dropped on your you know your butt and it's overwhelming this is overwhelming you, having having to um, take that step forward, having the strength to move forward. It's you're feeling very overwhelmed in that regard, regard, because it is something that you want, but you also don't want the pain. I, for you, this is wish fulfillment. This is what you want, but it's always what you wanted, and it never worked out. So, um, little, um, little apprehensive in offering. Knight of Cups is all about offering your love to somebody. It, it has, you know, it, it's linked very much to making a commitment because basically that's what it is. You're either going to a new person and making it clear what your feelings are and what it is you want and the direction you want to move in. Or it's you making it clear that you want to move to the next level in an existing relationship or somebody, you know, coming to you with that. 
So flip it if you need to. I'm going to read it like it's you, Cancer. But if you need to flip it, then flip it. Now the Page of Cups is all about a message of love. So this is offering your love and letting them know what it is exactly that you want. But the Knight of Swords, um, in this deck, it's different than the other ones. If you notice, there's twins sitting on this horse. So for me, this is a possible twin flame situation because of the twin uh, reference here. Normally, the Knight of Swords is all about very fast, impulsive, not putting any thought into the movement forward. You just go. And that's not what you want to do. You're very, uh, I feel apprehension here. It's, you know, it's, I'm surprised the Nine of Swords isn't here. We've kind of jumped right past it. We went from the six back down to the two and then up to the ten. So, just know that this betrayal and deceit, this pain that you've suffered in the past, it's done. It's a 10. It's over. There's no more of that. Just like the overwhelmment that you're feeling, burdened and overwhelmed, that's, that's done. You can let go of that and move forward into emotional fulfillment with your possible twin. I do want to clarify. I want to clarify the Two of Swords. I want to find out what the indecision is here. Okay. Angels, what is the Two of Swords doing here? Ah, too many cards. Whoa. Okay, that is way too many cards. Holy cow. I think somebody's angry. So, is there frustration and or anger involved in this having to make this decision, Cancer? So, clarifying the Two of Swords is the Hierophant. So, the Hierophant, again, if you look in this deck, in front of the Hierophant, there are two kids mirroring each other, no less, and they're twins. So again, another, a different deck, another twin, si twin flame, possible twin flame sign. But the Hierophant also represents, um, again, commitment. It represents, uh, can represent engagement, marriage. It's a very uh, spiritually based connection. So this is you being indecisive about making this commitment. That's what it comes down to. And I feel it's because you've been hurt either so many times by this person or by people in the past. So let's clarify. Why is the Ten of Swords here, angels? Possibly I just heard you're indecisive because of a past marriage that caused you a lot of pain. Some of you know that could be a very small number of you. Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands and the World. So like I said, this is ending. There's no more betrayal, no more deceit, no more intense pain. That cycle is ending. Maybe that cycle ending is what's causing you the pain. Maybe some of you had to get out of a marriage or have recently left a marriage and that caused you a lot of pain. And now you've got a new cycle coming in. But you're very guarded. 
with the seven of wands. This is somebody very guarded. This is somebody that believes um, possibly what I'm hearing is somebody that believes in um, how do I put this? The sanctity of marriage. So when you got married, it was I'm getting I'm not marrying until I know it's the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And that's why you were so hurt by this this ending of this this committed relationship, whether it be a marriage or just you know some kind of a committed relationship. But I, I feel like for some of you, it is a marriage that's ending or ended, and it caused a lot of pain when it ended. And that's why you're so overwhelmed in this new relationship because maybe that person wants to move it to the next level and. Like you just can't get past this marriage thing ending or this committed relationship. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Cancer Angels? Okay. We have the Two of Cups, the Tower, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is um, all about a partnership. You're overwhelmed and burdened by this relationship because possibly you're terrified that it's going to end just like this one up here did. And I think that what's going on here is moving to the next level for some of you is possibly moving in together. And that's scaring the crap out of you. Others of you, it's because it's moving so fast. It's just moving too fast for you to feel comfortable. But it's a necessity. It's a necessary component. And this is done. All of that intense pain, all of the worry, the being overwhelmed, all of that, it's ending. It's coming to an end. You've got a new cycle beginning, and, and that's no more. And you have a possible twin flame that you're coming together with here. You have two twin flame or twin symbols here. And they mirror each other. I mean, these are mirrors of each other. These, these are reflection. It's a reflection of the other one. It's a perfect. Wow. Okay. For those of you that want more detail, I will be go doing the extended. The link will be up here for you. Click on it. It'll take you to my website and you will be able to go watch the extended version. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love you guys. I'll see you on the other side.